All right, hey, uh, we're going to break some rocks open. I got a little bent full down here. Um, I will stay. I did stack the deck a little bit. These are some of the most uh, uh, fossil-rich rocks that I found uh, my last trip. Um, I did bring a, a handful of the big ones home. Well, a little bit more than a handful. But I did bring a, a bunch of the big ones home. I still got a couple more uh, nice-sized chunks in the back. Um, and uh, this winter hasn't been too bad. It's uh, been pretty good. Um, I won't complain so far. So I uh, got out digging a lot. So... I really want to start looking for some trills. I really do. So I'm going to set you guys up and uh, let's break a couple rocks open. Woohoo! See ya. All right, guys. You ready to find some trills? I'm going to turn you down. You can look inside that bin. Fairly simple procedure. Have yourself a hammer. Have yourself some rocks with fossils in it. Break the rocks with the fossils. Try to be careful. You don't want to break the fossils. Yeah, right. That's the hard part. Other than that, let's see what we got. All right. Like I said, I did stack the deck a little bit. So some of these uh, rocks, you might already see a little bit of a trill here and there. So we know there's some trills in here. I also see a little fossil right there, right on that edge. So we're going to crack her right on the edge. We're going to try to go with that little crack line. And we got it. Let's pick her up. Anything inside there? Eh. Throw it in there. We're going to dump everything in the bucket next to me. Now the good stuff we're going to put on top of the little lid there. And I'm going to take that over into... Uh... Ooh, okay. There's one. Sweet. Well, it's not a trill, but this can get rather messy, so I try not to do it indoors other than in here. And that's the whole goal. Slowly work that rock down. Up, oh, there we go. There she is. See her in there? No, I can't see the camera, so hopefully you can see her. I might try knocking some of the edges off here, or if I can, just pull them off. Yep, there we go. She's in there. We got a trill. Woohoo. There she is. 300 to 400 million years old. Woo. We'll set her aside and uh, also looks like a little potato bug. If you remember those. All right. It's little bugs that will curl up in a little ball. If I got crack this one straight down the middle. Hopefully on the side. Ooh. Ah, it came off. Son of a gun. Yes. Yes. I think we got another trill. Tiny one. Can you see the head of it? The head in the back? Probably not. It's little. Little, I tell you. Oh, sweet. You ready? You ready? Da, da, da. There she is. Welcome back, little Trillabite. Oh, come on. Focus for her. Focus. A little tiny trill. Round, curled. Oh, very neat. All right, we're up two trills. Awesome. Oh, I'm very happy with that little guy. Woo! I love the little ones too. Everybody likes those big ones, those big display trills. I only got like one of them, but the little ones are all over the place if you can just get to them and not break them.
I love that little curled one. Sweet. All right. Yeah, keep going. All right. Here we go. I knew that was going to explode. I think this thing's full of little shells. Yeah, it looks like it is. All right. Let me save this one, though. All right. I love it when they come out whole. Oh, now that's just too cool. I love that. It. It's just amazing. 400 million years ago, this thing was alive. Wow. Oh, that's probably the best one next to that little trill. Oh, sweet. Hope you hope you guys can see that. Probably not. That's just so cool. All right, that's going up on the table. All right, trilobites. You know, I had one gentleman write when I did this one time that he didn't know what a trilobite was until uh, I mentioned it and he had to look it up. You know, some of those. Uh, well, there's a little one in there. We'll dig that one out in a minute. Um, you know, you don't know what you don't know, and you know sometimes you take uh, for granted what you uh, think is uh, common. You know, and uh, trilobites—I don't even know what I learned about them. I would want to say in school, but I highly doubt it. They probably didn't teach me anything that was any good. But um, with that, um, probably have to cut that out. The wife will yell at me. Um, trilobites. Amazing little creature that lived uh, millions, and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and hundreds of millions more years ago. Um, roughly three to four hundred, somewhere in there. Um, I'm no expert yet again, but I am fascinated by the little creatures. Here we go. Here's that little shell. Maybe. Maybe not. And uh, it took like uh, three or four, uh, you know, uh, extinction events to actually kill those little buggers off. Um, they were like one of the, I think they were the first uh, creature with eyes, at least that we know of, or at least that we want to admit to knowing of. Um, When they get small, they get hard to hit. There we go. Got that one out. Barely see that one. I don't know if this one's going to break from a rock too easy, so. Yeah, throw that up. So there's another uh, more coral. But uh, yeah, it took uh, like three or four uh, extinction events to kill those little guys. Um, look up, uh, I'm not going to take the thunder away from anybody. Look up uh, the trouble with trilobites. Ooh, this one looks like a cool one. Um, the trouble with trilobites, um, and I'll talk about all about the trilobites. It's one of the most diverse creatures that ever lived the earth. Um, it uh, was one of the first to start to uh, develop, uh, uh, I believe, eyes, like I said, and also uh, spiny protective stuff so things don't eat them. Right? Um, from my understanding, a lot of the trills that we find in pieces... <laughs> Uh, had a piece bit off of them, but again, I'm no expert. All right, there's a bunch of little parts and trills in this. Ooh, this one looks like it could be cool. Still all dirty. All right, we're going to break this one in half and work on half of it first. All right, we're going to try not to hit the trills. Just hit this back end here. It's all dirty. And that didn't take much. That fell right apart. Oh, there could be something good down there. Oh, uh, let's look at this piece first. Oh, again, not a trill, but that looks very interesting there. I'm going to have to take my time with that one. Not quite sure. I'm thinking that's a shell. Very neat. I'm going to set this one up here with the other big one. Because here's another little shell. That one just popped right out. Very cool. <laughs> they just fall right apart. 
So you got to look at all the little pieces if you can find them. Like I said, in a quarry, this is horrible sometimes. Dig yourself a nice little pit and a nice little area that you can hit them in. At least that's what I try to do. Oh, come on. There's got to be something else in here. Watch those sharp little pieces. Oh, there's some trill pieces. Perts and pieces of trills. Millions of years ago. It's almost boring watching you break rocks, huh? This is why I don't video a lot when I go out to uh, Pendixie or uh, Herkimer. Uh, Herkimer is worse than this. I mean, it's pretty much all huffing and puffing. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one there, huh? Sweet, I bet you we can break that one off with our fingers. Yes, we can. <laughs> Very cool horn coral. Very nice. Well, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten horn corals already. There's usually a mother load. Sometimes you'll find one and you'll find like 40 of them. So yeah, look up uh, The Trouble with Trilobites on YouTube. Um, it's a really cool little uh, video that talks about the trill. And uh, it's kind of cartoonish, but it's very well put together. And if you want to get into some deeper stuff, there's, uh, I can't think of her name right now, some lady that... Uh, Actually gives a whole discussion on trills. It's like an hour and a half long. At least the one that I've seen is. And it's uh, really, really cool. It talks about all the different uh, species of trills. Because they're found all over the world. Oh, something just broke in half in there. It was one of the most diverse creatures as far as where it lived it was pretty much I believe lived everywhere and there was water and there was like 15,000 different subspecies of trilobites yeah got her out another horn coral You know, that little piece? That's where the coral was. Nada. The other part of it? Nada. All right. This is the one that kind of looked good. Had a little part of a trill butt on the top. If I any luck, I can save that. You know what? If I hit this just right here. And I didn't. Broke it. No, oh, well. Yeah, that's a shame. Breaking these things after all those years, but. I'm going to hit that one again if I can. Here's that round thing that was in there. It's loose. Ooh, and it's out. I'm not quite sure what that is. Get back here. I have no clue. Uh oh. I think it's a shell. Looks like it could have been a shell at one time. I'm going to throw that up in the pile here. But yeah, I think that was a shell. We're up like four or five shells, too. Four or five shells, a couple trails. We're having a pretty good hunt here. That little tiny curly one, I'm happy as heck about that. So here's a shell. It's only part of one. We'll, we'll see if we can get that off hole. Put it in there. Oh. It should be able to snap, possibly, without breaking the shell. Woot woot. 
another little one. That crystal in there. Can you see that? Where's the camera? I block everything out of the way and you just look at that. It's kind of cool. Uh, there's another one. Two of them. Yeah, these guys pop out pretty good if you can get get a good grip on them. There's a horn coral. Another one. See how easy those pop right out. Very cool. There's that one horn coral. Just break the rock right off of it. Any luck? No, not gonna be any luck on that. Then he, ooh, I love it when that happens. Woohoo! Love that. Look at that texture. Just like a shell. Well, it is a shell. It's just a super, super old one. Very neat. Alright. Love those little things. They're everywhere. Oh, there it is. Still gotta get that little horn coral out. So just set it on another rock. Give it a couple more hits. And she should break open. You gotta get that off there. There it goes. Woohoo! Another horn coral. Find a ton of them. All right, diggers, I made a bit of a mess. Uh, still got a nice hunk of rock I got to go through, but uh, my hand's uh, kind of hurting after pounding on it for a little while. The uh, video took a lot longer to make than uh, you're going to see. So with that uh, wrap-up, what did we get? Well, it wasn't a great one, but it wasn't a bad one. We got ourselves a handful, and I do mean a handful of horn coil, a bunch of them. Um, we got ourselves some nice shells. This is probably one of the finds of the day. This is a beautiful little shell here. Get into the light a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. That's a nice shell. Totally complete. And uh, we got ourselves one, two. We actually got three trilobites this so far is the tiniest one I've caught and it is a curled one and a little piece of matrix still I might just leave them on there see if I can clean them up a little bit but a little tiny curled trill pretty much it guys I just find some rocks got some uh, fossils in them hit them with a hammer until the fossils come out wear your safety glasses and your gloves always safety first Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. See ya.